what's the mood amongst the players after the week off? Um, a lot of ex excitement, I think. Um, obviously, a massive challenge going to Ireland, probably number one team in the world right now. So, uh, yeah, just really excited to challenge ourselves against the best with no fear and no pressure, really. So, yeah, really excited. Yeah. Nick was in just now saying it feels like Mills with nothing to lose at the moment, going out there, she playing with a bit of freedom, perhaps. What, what would your message be to the players that going into this game as, as probably underdogs? Yeah, I think, well, we, we've had that underdog tag for quite a while now, but we're still not winning, so really chasing that win, but obviously no pressure on us, we've got nothing to lose. Just go out there, leave everything out there, and, um, yeah, see what can happen. On a personal level, do you mind having that tag? Um, obviously, you you don't like being underdogs because you work so hard um, to be the best, but that, that's the state we're in. Fair play to Ireland, they, they, they're a class outfit, and they, and... Um, demonstrated why they're the best team in the world the last couple of weeks. Um, obviously their breakdown's massive and they've got in individual players that, that, that are class, so just matching up against them really and, and um, yeah, proving ourselves. Is there a belief in this group that you can go out there and, and cause an upset? Yeah, 100%. Um, if, we, if, we, if we didn't think that, there'd be no point going up there in the first place. So yeah, we, we have full confidence that we, that we can win and, and do a job, um, but yeah, it's going to be tough. Thanks, Cheers, thank you. Yeah, obviously Twickenham was, was special. Not many people get to, to lead the boys out there. So um in, in the derby, obviously extremely disappointed in, in terms of result and, and we felt that was one that really got away, similar to the Scotland game. Um yeah, in terms of going to Ireland it's, it's obviously an incredible honour every time I get to captain the boys and, and something I don't take for granted. Um just really looking forward to hopefully leading through my actions and, and um, yeah, getting the result. And what lessons have you taken from those narrow defeats to try and turn them into a victory? Uh, I think it's just how, how close international rugby is. So the margins are so small, You, if you're 1% off, you, you, you're going to come out on the losing side. Um, so yeah, just being at the top of your game, all the 1% all the is add up and they, they do really mean a lot, yeah. Cheers. Alex? I think I'm right saying you've beaten Munster this season. Uh, yeah, we beat Munster home, yeah. yeah. What, did, so what did you maybe take out of that? Obviously, I know it's a different team, but the Irish, beating an Irish team once, what did you take out of that? Maybe? Yeah, I think, um, like, I said, like I said earlier, the, they, they pride themselves on the breakdown, attacking and defensively. Obviously, Munster, in terms of Tyburn, he was, he was over the ball. Um, but yeah, it was a main focus, because if we give our back line a chance, um, we think we can cause them problems out wide. Um, but yeah, it's just up to the pack to, to, to smoke breakdowns. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we talked about their pack and, and most of them are, are world-class jacklers, so it's going to be a challenge. Um, but yeah, something we're really looking forward to. Cheers. You've got a pretty good jackler of your own, you Tommy Raffle, haven't you? Oh yeah, he's, he's probably one of the best in the world, isn't he? And he's proven that the last couple of weeks and yes, yeah, it's an honour to play with him. Yeah. But uh, you've all got to step up in that department this time, haven't you? 100%, yeah, he's, he's, he's leading the way in terms of performances and um, when you see a player doing special things like Tommy Tommy did in, in Twickenham and, and he did against Scotland, it makes you want to raise your game as well. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, alright, thank you very much. Cheers guys.